So now it is time to talk about some important points that you uh, need to consider while working with exceptions or while um, handling the exceptions. Let's have a look at all of these things one by one. So number one point. When an exception occurs, the program execution halts. Uh, this is something which I don't think I should have written down over here, but this is something that again, you need to uh, be very, very clear about that whenever an exception occurs, the rest, uh, the execution of the rest of the code, which is written into that particular trial log or uh, yeah, wherever that code is written, the execution of that particular program gets halted, right? That's what happens. Any DML operations that were processed before the exceptions are rolled back and are aren't committed to the database. So like, let's say we've got 100 lines and we have already executed 50 lines and in these 50 lines there were three dml operations like so there was an insert and there was an update and there was another insert of another object so whatever data that got inserted that got updated or maybe something uh, which also got deleted from the database because of the execution of these 50 lines of this particular program if on the 51th line there's an exception that occurs all of this, these DML operations will get rolled back and nothing will be committed to the database. So this is something that you need to make sure that you need to understand that you do not have to worry about uh, deleting the data which got inserted because of the uh, half execution of this particular program, right? Uh, it will automatically be rolled back if there will be any, except, any exception that will be thrown into the database, right? Until unless the complete program's execution happened uh, without any exception, the data, the, the, yeah, the DML operations that we have done inside the database will not get committed. So you do not have to worry about, uh, yeah, any corrupt data or any data which, uh, which is an output of partial execution of a code, right? So this is something that you need to make sure. Exceptions get logged into the debug logs. So whatever exception is coming up, you can just go into the debug logs and check that. Uh, for unhandled exceptions, that is exception that the code doesn't catch. Salesforce sends an email that includes the exception information. So if there are some unhandled exceptions uh, which are getting executed, Salesforce will send, uh, or, or some of the exceptions which cannot be caught, which, will, which is something that we'll be discussing right now, uh, like later in the next video. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if there are some exceptions like this, then Salesforce will send you an email uh, with the information related to that exception. And last but definitely not the least is the end user sees an error message in the Salesforce user interface. So if Let's say by a click of a button, there was a program execution or there was a code execution that got initiated. And while executing that particular code, there, was, there is an exception uh, that is thrown or that occurred. So in that case, uh, that exception will be uh, shown onto the user interface as well to the user. So that, that there's some exception that occurred. So yeah, these are some things that you need to uh, be clear about uh, in terms of, uh, exception handling.